I already told you about turning the internal light switch on on the control panel, which is the top right hand button. Uh, and I did say that uh, there are some illumination of the lights already, but we have got other illumination within this caravan. So the spotlights, you've got one in each corner in this front lounge seating area. The first time you touch the light is just going to bring on a small background uh, illumination. Then you get, if you hit it, the button again, you get a full one. And then if you hit it again, it goes off. So I'll just repeat that. That's just background. That's full illumination. Um, and again, you've got that repeated on all of the uh, spotlights. And there's one in each corner in this caravan. And it's all touch sensitive. And this is LED lighting. Everything within this caravan is LED lighting. We do have a strip light underneath the kitchen area. Again, it's touch sensitive. I just put my hand there, run it to the end. And as you can see, it comes on. If I run it across again, it goes off. Okay, so that's how you turn the kitchen light on. I'm gonna come across to the front bulkheads. Uh, I, these are the bulkheads. Uh, I'm talking one in each corner, basically. So we have a double light switch down on this panel, and we have a single light switch on the offside front panel. So, what do they do? Let's find out. So that one is to turn on and off the overhead locker lights, including the corner panel, as you can see. Okay, so that's the first one that you come to. The second one that you're gonna to come to is gonna do, I think, these down lighters. There's the down lighters going in this central location. And then this particular one uh, is gonna turn off the lights underneath the kitchen work surface on the floor level. Yeah, okay. So that particular switch is basically used for nighttime use. That if uh, you need to illuminate the floor area, if, you, if you've got somebody sleeping at the front end, they need to do a run to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they can just illuminate the floor area rather than having to illuminate the whole caravan and everybody get disturbed by that. So that's what that switch is really for. I'm now gonna just go to the kitchen area because there's just one more switch I need to tell you about. And that's this one that's underneath the work surface and it turns on this light, as you can see, underneath that work surface area. So that's for illumination of something like the cutlery drawer, and this little drawer unit here, etc. It just illuminates that area up. So just before I move on into the toilet compartment and other lights, I just want to also point out that we do have a, a fast charge uh, panel here. So. Uh, that is for more modern day phones. I'm just trying to get mine out. So all that you have to do is place your phone onto that pad there, and you can see it's already uh, saying it's trying to charge, but this one's uh, only at 97%, so I'm not gonna put a great deal into that one. So that's a fast charge facility that you have on this coachman. And I'm now gonna go through to the bathroom to show you where the uh, illumination switches are for the bathroom. So coming through into the uh, toilet compartment, we've got a pull cord switch here. Uh, which you just pull that and it does turn all the uh, lights on within this toilet compartment area. Okay, so this is a central bathroom that we've got in this particular caravan. Uh, it's just on the one pull cord that you see here. Right, if we come through into the uh, rear bedroom, there is other switches that we have in this particular area here. So we have got the overhead locker lights already illuminated. But what you are going to find, you're going to have several switches that turn them on and off. Uh, I'm going to come to this one first off. So that's the switch for the overhead locker lights. Happy on that one. The next one is for the bathroom. So I don't know if you can actually see the bathroom lights are now turning on and off. So yes, you've got your pull cord, but you have got another switch here on this uh, control panel area here, which we would also mount a TV onto. As we come through into the bed area, we have also got the spotlight system like you have in the front. It's touch sensitive, as we've already said. And that's the same on both of these particular spotlights. All right, so ideal for nighttime reading, obviously. You just direct them to where you need them to be. And more or less, that is all the internal lights. There are two lights that we have on the outside of the caravan. One is the awning light. The second one is the service light, which is on the offside of the caravan. And it's located more towards the front, near to the battery locker and where the water pump housing is so that you can illuminate that area should you have to go to the outside of the caravan when it's dark, you can actually just illuminate that uh, outside service area. So thank you for watching this video.